The true path of the ninja is difficult and taxing. Are you ready for it? Yo, what's up players, DJ95 here and we're going to be discussing about a mobile rip-off game. I'm sure there are many of you who remember Daytona USA, one of Sega's arcade classics from the early 90s, 1993 or 1994, if I remember correctly. The game evolved quite a bit back then, starting from the arcade years in 1993, then went on to be released for the Sega Saturn, and then in 2001 for the Dreamcast console. Simply named Daytona USA 2001. But anyway, that's besides the point. I'm going to be discussing about Daytona USA, a mobile ripoff of Daytona USA. Here I'm going to discuss. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Here I'm going to discuss about what makes Daytona USA so great compared to the arcade and console versions of the game and why it's recommended for Daytona USA fans out there. So, let's get straight to the details. First of all, we have Championship Mode, which includes 9 races. And we have Quick Race Mode, where you can practice your skills in Time Trial or take on 40 opponents. Take on 39 opponents. And also Multiplayer Races where you can chat with others while racing. Okay, so that's enough of the game modes. Let's get to the gameplay itself. And yes, some of the courses have been recycled from the arcade classics, including 777 Super Speedway from the, the, or the beginner course, Dinosaur Canyon from or the advanced course, and this one. I cannot remember its name, but uh, I mostly call it the Expert Course from Daytona USA. And they make use of other tracks, including real life inspired tracks such as Cote d'Azur or Monte Carlo. And this one, Catalonia or the Spanish Grand Prix if you must know, mostly know. And I can't remember this one, but okay. I'm going to pick this one because I like the song. And you can make adjustments to the race hour. You can set it to morning, afternoon, evening, and night. But I'm going to, but I'm going to pick morning. So, And you can make adjustments to the car color. Pretty cool, huh? I'm going to stick with this one. And just like the arcade classics, you can also choose manual or automatic transmission. And I'm going to stick with normal because that's what I normally pick. Okay, let's get racing. Three, two, one, go! And they're on the way. And there are a few other things that make this game great, such as simple controls, so you don't have to worry about. Uh, Doing some things like gear drifting depends on whether you pick automatic. It uh, depends on if you pick manual transmission. But uh, yeah, anyway. And just like the arcade classics, you can also change the view. Mostly, I prefer this view because actually I can judge the corners, the corners easier that way. And you can drift easier. Just simply tap at the bottom of the screen. That way it's easier for you to drift. If you pick automatic transmission that is. And what's a very sub they recycle music from the arcade classics. And yes, the voice. Just like its arcade counterpart. Uh, I, I just lost what I wanted to say about this game because I'm too busy focused on, on racing here. I'm trying to 
charge with the race without getting damage here. I mean, it's simple here on this track. Yes. Here we go. Also, there's no pause button. Instead, you can choose whether to quit the race or not. And there's another thing that uh, I haven't been using a lot because I'm too because I'm too busy racing. That is footwork. Mostly with the footwork, you can only repair your car, but you cannot do so on the final lap. Oh, that was close. I almost crashed into that guy. I make things look easier. But anyway, what I was going to talk about is that there are a few good things about this game. Because simply, you don't have to get the arcade game or the Dreamcast version of the game. Unless you have some emulators on your mobile phone, such as Redream or Raycast, you can still get the Dreamcast version of the game. But when you get the main version when you get the when you get the mobile version of the main, I mean believe me, I tried because I played the arcade game, it just it works. It works, but if you make but if you just set things to it, then it does work but it slows down dramatically. So I recommend you don't try it. Instead you can play this game. I mean it's easier to to get the game via the internet. Simply download it via the Play Store or the App Store. Oh, 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 that's nothing to worry about. If I quit now, then I would just have a rage quit. Anyway, let's finish this race. Come on! Yes, I won. And also, what I really hope that that someone who designed this game, they really should have recycled the ending music, just like the arcade classics, because that would be much cooler. Plus, they don't have the game over music. Well, that I don't know for sure if they include it or not. Oh, I almost forgot to mention, they also have the time counter, just like its previous incarnates. Simpl what most of you would know is that Daytona USA was made to rival Namco's Ridge Racer at the time. Instead, it just makes use of NASCAR-inspired racing. That's what I mostly know about Daytona. But anyway... I think you will understand the reasons why it's recommended that you should try out, uh, try this game out if you're a Daytona USA fan. I mean really, get this game, it's really fun. If you really want to challenge friends or just race by yourself, then I recommend you get this game. It's absolutely good, I give it 100%, thumbs up, 10 out of 10. Okay, anyway, thanks for watching players, and remember to subscribe to DJ95, follow me on Twitter, and join my Discord server to become a player. Alright, that's it for now. See you guys. Bye.